everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Coldfire. And I'm Kit. And today we're going to be uh, going down the Ray of Light journey of Madonna's um, album that she had after having her baby and doing Evita. And um, this uh, basically uh, was supposed to be considered, she won a lot of her first Grammy, I think, from this album and she won a lot of other awards because a lot of the elements and instruments and uh, psychedelic music had never been done before in a lot of these songs. So it was her comeback because basically they said erotica and bedtime stories failed but I think that she was just going through a period where she wanted to express her own point of view and try something new, like with Bedtime Stories, more R&B. Um, with the erotica, it was more for the gay um, audience. Um, but this was the first album that she had done after she'd done Evita, had her baby, and she finally got back in the recording studio, and she revived her career really quickly. Okay. So... I've and heard some of the more popular. Now there ones. are some songs that we have already reacted to a long time ago. Believe it or not, it's been a year and a half. We still haven't reached a thousand subscribers yet, but there are uh, "Frozen," "Substitute for Love," and "Ray of Light." "Ray of Light" is on our Madonna playlist on our channel, so check those out. So we won't be doing those today. We're just going to be doing the ones we we're, haven't done so far. We're going to do we're a couple of them. We're going to try to do them in order. We're going to try to do a couple of them. But yeah. I can't say that we're going to do them all, but we will do a couple today. And then so on and so on. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I've only got like one day off this week and starting a new job. And I've been doing a lot of stuff around here. Of course, everything that could go wrong went wrong on my time off. So i tired and I need to rest before my first day tomorrow. So, anyways, yeah. we're going to do some today, you know, try to make y'all happy, um, and go from there. So, let's just dive into it. for all it. you Madonna fans out there, hit that, hit that uh, notification and subscribe bell, and, you know, help us out and help Madonna out. You know? How does help Madonna? Well, we're reacting to a, a lot of Madonna, and we're trying not to leave anything uncovered. We're trying to do everything by her. No, you, you know. Unlike can, other channels, they, they can, skip around and they, they miss a lot of things. They can help Madonna by subscribing and spread the love, and have other people subscribe that are learning exactly. to love Madonna. Exactly, that's what I was trying to say. So there you go. Yeah. Anywho, let's get started. Okay, here's "Swim" from "Ray of Light" by Madonna.
That was definitely a different sound for Madonna. Yes, it was. I... It was smooth. Mm -hmm. But she brought in all those elements that we have never heard in a Madonna song before. I think I've heard that song before, but I can't remember. I like the lyrics, though. What do you think that it represents? That that the world's in chaos and... No. you got to swim to the bottom of the ocean no. to try to breathe new life into your... Boy, do you look way too deep into stuff. Well, she said we got to swim to the ocean floor. Correct. Let the water wash over us. Make it all Yes, over. because they don't. she doesn't want to carry the, the sins of her past. So, basically, she's like trying... Like a baptism. She, yes, yeah, she's trying to cleanse herself from... Well, her and anybody else who agrees with this. Yeah. Trying to cleanse themselves to get to... They're basically repenting for their sins to start over. Because yeah. that, that's what Catholics do. You go, you get forgiven. Baptism is supposed to, to wash Catholics, everything away. Catholics, you can away. do it ten times as long you as know. you keep forgiving each other. Giving, forgive yourself for your sin. Oh no! If you don't give money to the if you don't give money to the church, that doesn't count. Oh, um, really? Yeah. But when you went into confessionals, yeah, that's what they say. They but tell no, you to no, do no, the you penance. Give, yeah, a true Catholic gives ten percent of their their. Well, income. all Christians are supposed to give ten percent yeah. of their makings. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you need money? Go sell some of that gold. In your I like church. the part where she's like, but, "Yeah, chilling, um, kill." Children killing children while the students rape the teachers. She's showing how bad we become, and it's like <laughs> starting with the kids. And the thing, and the scary part is, this is way before the really bad stuff has happened. Yeah. So, it's like Madonna's Nostradamus. It's like she can predict the future because I mean, anybody. It seems like, like when when we when we reacted to Frozen for the first time, and she was levitating as you know. She mm -hmm. was doing something that had never been done before, like with the electrotron electronica, because she was working with um, one of the best producers, William Orbitz, and he took her to a new height with the electronica well, beat. All, all I all I know is man, I like the guitar. Yeah. The the sound, um, that it was very soothing, but very. Wasn't she playing her own guitar in that? No, I, I think that she didn't um, learn to... She she was learning how to play the guitar, but she she said that she wasn't comfortable enough to be good enough on a record. Oh. Okay. But like when we seen her in the Celebration Tour, mm -hmm. yeah, she was rocking that damn mm -hmm. guitar out. And so was her son. Yeah. But anyways, um, that, that, if you want to know about that, you go watch, watch the other stuff. But... Yeah. I but that love was, this. Yeah, I love the song. It was it was really nice. I had a good meeting too. So, yeah, we can. I can see why Ray of Light started out as becoming her comeback album. It was like, well, for the ones that she we reinvented re herself again between this one and and the other ones that we reacted to already. The, the other three, um, no, I can I can see, um, but yeah. Anywho, I liked well, it. That was Swim by Madonna. And I hope that you guys all enjoyed that reaction um, to the <laughs> the audio version because uh, she didn't do uh, oh, excuse me, but sorry. only four video four videos I think for this, which come to find out that's supposed to be standard. You're only allowed to do three to four videos per album. Oh. I didn't know that was a standard. Oh. You can't do a video for every well, that's song. Stupid. Who made that rule? Um, it's some kind of recording industry thing. Um, but See, everybody's got their own rules. and it's, it's, I think it may be Warner Brothers. Uh, I don't know because... I think it's BS. I know that whenever she... I think it was around this time that she re-signed with Warner Brothers who gave her a lot of money. Yeah. But they own her catalog of music. Yeah. Not so smart, was it? But no, I'm pretty sure she has... They probably own her cat catalog of music, but she probably, in the end, I'm probably put she no, probably puts something does. that if something happens to me is to be rendered to my kids. I'm sure it's because she's not a stupid lady. Because okay. like it was like Michael Jackson, he bought all the El Elvis Presley's catalog. Yeah. So. so. All right. Anyways, well, 
Well, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Have a good one, then. Bye. Bye.